one can only hope it's Ike, but if not, it's going to be Marth. Alright, so Z is going to be joining me on commentary. When the game starts, Mike going for an early pivot grab. Oh, not so easy to get the gimp right there. And here he goes, Z. Nice. Alright, so we have a, uh, is this game one of uh, Rich Brown? All yep. right, Rich Brown and Mike Hayes. Uh, this is the winner's bracket. I think this is winner's semis. Is it really winner's semis? Is that really? Right? Yeah, it's, um, I think Tyron and Foe are on the other side of the bracket for winner's, uh, winner's semis. Interesting. Um, oh, this tournament's going actually really fast. Awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, Rich loses his first stock. I did not see SK92 versus Rich Brown. How was it? Oh, great play by Mike. I'm sorry, SK92 versus Mike Hayes. How did that go? Did you see it? It was actually very close. SK did a phenomenal job. Um, it's just that, you know, Mike clutched it out with a match play experience, I think. He has nice. a little more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they. I think. That, ooh, oh, great game. Yeah. And this is three stocks to one. Rich trying to hold his composure. He looks a little stressed out, though. I think uh, Rich is also pressed for time because I think he's got uh, some stuff to do with his band as well right now. That would explain why. <laughs> yeah. he, he's trying very hard to play as many matches as he can, just get as far into bracket as he can. So he's playing a very, like, not Rich Brown style today. But I mean, it's still working because he's just a great player. No Johns. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. I know. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, Mike is putting in a lot of work today. Nice up smash. Very, yeah. So he's um, interesting. Why do you think he threw away the blue ones? The little ones, like the little the, white ones. No, the blue. He threw away two blue Pikmin. I think the when you want to deal damage and like rack up damage, you want to use yellows and reds, and then blues are and purples are great for killing. Yep. Oh. Mike, he's nice. Just, Mike just wants him gone. He's not wasting any time either. He's like, I see you off stage and I will capitalize. Get you that band practice on time. Right. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to help you out in the best way possible. Nice up smash. Ooh, Ooh surprised he survived that one. Good, uh, good whistle cancel. Does the whistle stop momentum if you're flying off? No, no, no. I, what, what I referred to was like, um, he just used a whistle and to cancel the hit stun. Oh, That's okay. what I meant. Uh, this is definitely an uphill battle. I mean, Mike has a whole other stock, and Rich is at 156. Uh, I saw that coming a mile away. Usually, Marth will stand there and just wait until you get close, and then do the up tilt, and the back of the hitbox is, for some reason, like just as strong as like any other part. Anything, yeah, it's ridiculous. Almost. There's that up tilt again. Oh, and good. nice. Could we I, see a comeback? I would hope so. I mean, that would be a lot of hype. <laughs> exactly. I mean, to be honest, if any Omar was gonna do it, I would, I would put my money on Rich. He's just so momentum based. He just oh no, oh, sad that's choice. Good, yep. Not bad though. I mean, he, he tried something. So he, yeah. So I guess in that case, he was waiting for Mike to do something else, maybe another up tilt, up smash, anything. Nice. So I mean, it was a good mix up by uh, Mike getting that. I, no one ever sees it coming, like the side view up until you you're hit with the second one. You're like, oh crap. This fourth one might kill me. <laughs> so it was a great option by Mike. You know, it's utilizing every single one of Marth's tools, using the unorthodox kill move. So definitely deserved that first game. And uh, Rich decides to take him to PS1. And this is, I think, one of Rich's favorite stages because he normally counterpicks the stage. What particular reason do you think he'd counterpick here? I mean, uh, I'd say the length of stage is it's wide. It's you know a lot of ground, so he can run anywhere, and then. It might be something to do with Pikmin percentages, like which one is likely to come up. That's what I'm unsure of, actually. I've never seen, I've never heard of PS1's Pikmin percentages. Um, I'm assuming it's got to be the killing ones. Nice. Rich is in much better shape in this round. Last, and this is actually a good stage for like that that forward smash tossing the Pikmin off stage. Oh. Like, it looks like it might be. Nice. Very good up smash. Is this, does this also have a low ceiling? Yes. PS1 has a smaller ceiling. Uh, a lot of people don't realize it, but... It's a great stage, like if you can't kill, great stage to go to. You can survive forever if you're good at teching. Um, the ledges really screw you up, so if you practice on the stage, you have a significant advantage. Um, so, I, I, I didn't think at first, you know, Rich would go here simply for the ceiling. Yeah. But it makes sense since, you know, his uh, primary kill seems to be up smash. Mm -hmm. So, it's a great choice by Rich. 
Um, Mike, I think Mike is having a little bit of trouble adjusting to like the amount of space that you were referring to earlier. Just oh, that was a good grab. Nice. Oh, that was beautifully played. Great choice by Mike. I honestly was like, what is what is he gonna get out of it? Mike's one of those players that just goes for the unorthodox move. Like he'll he'll flip you out. He'll just do something completely different. It's it's so much fun to watch too because it's like. Oh, Marth stuff. No, that is not a Marth <laughs> trick. That's a Mike Hayes trick. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to see him Marth play. Or Mike, Mar Marth Hayes. Mike Hayes. Hayes. Marth Hayes. So it's uh, Mike's still at a dis disadvantage right now as far as the percent goes. But I mean, he's doing a good job of like trying to close the gap. Rich, though, just hanging on. Those Pikmin are just chipping away at him. Just... Oof. Ooh, nice. uh, survives that one. But... See, which transformation are we going to get now? We just had the fire. Should we probably get in the water one? Um, normally when you look at the Jumbotron, it'll give you the warning. Water. Ah, that read, read, call. Read, read, though. Good read, though. Oh. Negative DI and reading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Mike comes back. That is... Those, those grabs that he was doing on the ledge are really, really weird because if you were to drop for like a split second, you'd get grabbed. And it's weird because you feel like you're getting grabbed... Through like, the yeah, through the through the and it's like what what? <laughs> Bending space and time for my grabs. Did, was that a yellow? Yeah. Hey, just killed with a yellow throw. I was I didn't know that would do that. At 190. I mean, regard 190. Yeah, I know, but oh. I was surprised. Ceiling too. Oh, ceiling. Does it, do you, does the time vary for uh, PS1's um, transformations or is it consistent? That's actually a very good question. I'm almost positive it's consistent, but that's. That's, that, that's nuances that you would pick up only if you practice the stage, you know? I, I feel like the fire stage was a while, you know, and then that water stage came and went. Oof. Did you see that down smash? So much damage from Rich Brown. You never want to get punished by that move. It is just nasty. Ooh. Instead of going for the stage, he went for the ledge. Nice whistle. It's so tricky with Olimar's recovery because he's got that whistle. You kind of forget that, oh, if I hit him, it won't hurt him. Good up B by Mike Hayes. I think Rich was definitely trying to whistle that one. So. Great going for the side B, hitting him up. Mike getting 29% just off side B's alone. Oh. Mike doesn't want to be above him. Very dangerous spot. And with the up smash. That's going to be game two. So, where do you think that Mike Hayes would take Rich? All right. Somewhere without that low ceiling, maybe somewhere that's uh, not as wide. Not FD, not FD for sure. I see battlefield in this. Lilat or battlefield. I would I would strike Lilat simply because the uh, the Pikmin pole. Yeah. It's the most popular for all of them. just yellows and purples for. I mean, what do I know? <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a commentator. What do I know? <laughs> that's, that's why I'm not there. <laughs> so let's see what <laughs> let's see what Mike has. Yeah, has to Oats reading. <laughs> that was that Oats reading. <laughs> Oh man, we are we are on point today. We are on point for sure. So Rich jumps up with a quick lead, a couple uh, fourth matches grabs, puts him at a puts Mike at 32. Oh, that white when he cannot get it off him. That put on an extra 22 percent. Nice. Rich just showing Mike, you know what? I'm an Olimar. You may have dominated me first match, but I can bring it back for sure. Mike, oh, a purple up smash. Good DI surviving. That was. Most certainly death, like in anyone else's book. And that was a funky follow up by Mike. He just went off the stage hoping Rich would DI back. It was really weird. That, but that's Mike, you know, with his unorthodox place. Oh man, Rich took a lot of damage. I mean, sure he didn't take any knockback, but that was a lot of percent. <laughs> I think he was just like, you know what, just go ahead and hit me. Let's just add some drama. It was going to look like a JV, you know, it's it on its way to there, yeah. but now it just. And he's just like, you know what, I'm going to whistle everything instead of just not getting hit. Before there, um, well, they're both at kill percent now. Oof. You gotta hate all of our smashes, man. Those Pikmin, those, they just, Ooh. Man, that's the stock, yeah. Horrible. And it was actually the purple, which actually has a shorter range on the grab, so I was surprised he got that. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's that whistle just saving him. How is Rich gonna get back on stage? And, oh, Mike whiffs it. And there he goes with that, uh, side B upwards. I, Oh, great grab. Great I'm surprised grab. he didn't throw him off stage. You think he's probably trying to avoid that whistle shenanigan again? Yeah, might have. Now, at this point, I'm, I'm predicting Mike Hayes is going to go for an up throw because he sees that Rich is shielding everything and he's whistling everything, so no need for him to be reckless at this point. So I, I foresee like an up throw in like about 30 more percent. Ooh, a beat. Oh, oh. 
that was a really bad place for Rich. I'm, I can't believe he got out of it. Oh, nice. Oh, horrible DI man, that, I don't think that would have killed otherwise, but um, Mike doing a good job in the stock. It's not so bad. It's 70%, you know, it's unfavorable, but it's definitely something he can come back from. He might not try whistling again, you know. It might mm -hmm. just rack up the percentage all over. So let's see. Uh, Rich got that. Oh, Mike just sneaks right in there. does not care. He says, hello, let me come into your house. <laughs> Break your vase. Fill your wallet. That dash dancing with all of my thing is so suspect because you can't Ooh. tell what Pikmin are in the lineup, and I'm surprised Rich can. Nice pivot sports match, Mike. <gasps> that was the worst Rich, thing that could have Oh, happened. that. I guess Mike made the counter pick. That was a great counter pick by Mike. Here's the white one next. Is he going to. Yep. Chucks it at him. Now that. Oh, he just tosses the purple. That bad, is brilliant. Bad choice. Rich just so good with that up smash out of shield. Anything you hit him with on a platform, on stage, it's just you are going to get punished. And did he actually walk a little forward? Like he dropped the shield and then walked? Uh, I don't believe he walked. I, it's in, it's simultaneous. Like your shield drop and the up smash almost come out at the same time. I mean, the shield drop is obviously first, but it's so fast. Uh, I don't think he had time to walk at all because that would be a, a really awkward walk real fast up smash because I don't know if your momentum would you know with your uh, walking forward would turn into a forward smash so I don't think it was a walking for, uh, up smash but nonetheless it definitely you know helped him out oof so now the percents are pretty equal nice so uh -oh. alright so Mike and Rich are still going at it alright I have a match too so I will be back guys Alright, with the percentage lead, Mike might take this, but again, still anyone's match. Rich baiting for anything. Nice down throw. Or excuse me. Oh, worst place you want to be in. And with that said, Rich gets knocked into the losers, and he is. The win goes to Mike. Good job. Mike Hayes taking the win.